Hey guys, Thunderstud here, and today I am bringing you a Blackluster Soldier deck. We got a new skill to use with him from Little Yugi in this event. I broke my mic, so mic is completely broken right now. I'm relying on just the integrated mic in my laptop, so I don't know how good that's going to sound, but it's all I have for right now. So hopefully it will do till I can get a brand new super awesome mic. But anyway, we got this new skill. It's called Pathway to Chaos. What does it do? Can be used by sending one Karibo monster from your hand to the graveyard. Any Karibo will work. Change one of the following monsters you control to another monster. So it has to be on the field. It can't be just in your hand. The skill can only be used once per duel. Monsters whose original name contains Gaia the Fierce Knight, so pretty much all the Gaias work. Monster whose original name is Blackluster Soldier. I'm assuming that's any Blackluster Soldier, even the Sacred Soldier. But you change him into Blackluster Soldier Super Soldier. What does this do? You can blah blah blah. This card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, and sends it to the graveyard, and inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its attack in the graveyard. This card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Guy of the Fierce Knight from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can only special summon one Black Luster Super Soldier once per turn. That's okay, because we're only bringing them out with this skill. Still a pretty cool little monster. You get to use all of his effects, because we do have a deck full of Gaias, that you're able to turn into a regular Black Luster Soldier. So it's actually pretty cool stuff. And easy to use because, like I said, it works with any Karibo. So we're running three Sphere Boys, one little wing with a flute. We're running two of the Gaias. Arisen is dark, so him and Wing Karibo can be used with Super Soldier Synthesis. Or we have Charging Gaia, who can be normal summoned at 1900. He can be normal summoned as long as your opponent controls more monsters than you. And then one plus seven is. 8, Sphere Kribo's Dark, this boy's Light, this boy's Dark, this boy's Light. It's all because of Super Soldier Synthesis. You must also send one Light and one Dark Monster from your hand and from your deck. So that's where their synergy lies. Then we're using Envoy of Chaos because we are a Gaia slash Black Luster deck. And this guy helps for Gaia and Black Luster. During either player's battle phase, you can discard this card, target one Black Luster Soldier or Gaia the Fierce Knight. It gains 1500 attack until the end turn, and if it does, every opponent's monster that battles at this turn has its attack become that monster's original attack during damage calculation only once per turn. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard, you can banish one light, one dark monster from your graveyard, except this card, add it to your hand. Very, very strong card and a hand trap, so really, really worth the slot. We're running three of him. And then we got one of our beginning knight, because he's light, he's dark. That way we can still use our Super Soldier Synthesis with the Envoy in hand. Mill him from the deck. What does he do? You'll gain these effects. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls. Banish it. Very, very strong. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and send it to the graveyard, you can activate this effect. This card can make a second attack in a row. Also very strong. Your Blackluster Soldier is gaining that effect. And, uh, oh, where'd he go? Last but not least, you do use this. If this card is banished from the graveyard, you can add one ritual spell card from your deck to your hand. That's usually done with Envoy returning to your hand. You banish your beginning knight, and you get a search of spell. You'll definitely see it in the replays. So, pretty streamlined. We're using Gateway to Chaos. That's our Blackluster Soldier. That's any one of our Gaias. So, we essentially have three, four copies of each. Works out pretty well. That's how our deck is so streamlined. We just want the three Sphere Boys, three Envoy. 3 Synthesis, 3 Chaos, everything else is searchable or millable. And we've brought in 2 Hey True Nade, just snuck in there at the end, because it is not fun to play Duel Links without back row hate, guys. It's just not. People have endless Karma Cuts, they have endless back row. You need something. We're using just a little bit of Hey True Nade. That's not going to save you too crazy, but uh, it's still pretty nice. This extra deck down here is not the extra deck. I don't have an extra deck, so whatever this was an extra deck to, you can just pretend it's in this extra deck. doesn't really matter. Funny little skill, funny little deck. Not going to run away with the meta, but still worth it for these cool monsters. You're using Karibos and Gaias. It's actually really, really cool stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. Alright, here we are facing Aseto Kaiba. 
going second. It's using an obelisk sleeve and a blue eyes mat. We have our Gateway to Chaos, we have our Super Soldier Synthesis, and our Beginning Knight. So that is enough to make a Black Cluster Soldier who's going to do just an insane amount of damage. So here our boy's bringing out a Blue Eyes already, he's got a Sage with Eyes of Blue, ends his turn. Now, we have Lethal. This guy blocks it with a super secret card I'm not going to tell you about yet, but we swing for Lethal right here. Even with a hatred nade in hand. So we throw away Envoy in the beginning night. Black Cluster Soldier. He can banish a monster. Now we're going to banish that blue eyes. Now we're going to swing into that sage. When beginning night destroys the monster. So when this Black Cluster Soldier destroys the monster. We get a swing again twice. But he did in fact have a Kite Roid to beat our lethal. Not a big deal. Normal summons Maiden with blue. Also not a big deal. We're going to try to banish her. She's going to trigger her effect when she's targeted. Summon another blue eyes. Not a big deal. We'll use our pathway to chaos. Throw away our sphere boy. Swing into the blue eyes. When our super soldier is destroyed. We get to bring out a risen Gaia. Swinging for lethal once again. But he does have that kite road in his graveyard. Now envoy is going to trigger. We banish beginning knight and karibo. And when beginning knight is banished. You get to search your super soldier synthesis. We could also get a super soldier synthesis off our gateway to chaos. Now we use our envoy on our Gaia as he randomly summoned another arisen Gaia. That was super super random. But finish him with envoy. Great great stuff guys. Alright here we are facing a Yami Yugi. Going first. He's got a Jaden or no uh I think it was named Human Astral with Yugi and that Super Fusion sleeve over there. Not the greatest hand. Few Karibos, few Knights get hit by a Kaiku. Now we have some business. We use our Gaia, Charging Gaia, Normal Summons, Pathway to Chaos, throw away our Wing Karibo. That's a Black Luster Soldier, very easy to get out. Our boy runs his Kaiku away with the Illusion Magic. Now we're swinging at him once again, now he uses Magician's Navigation. Brings out one Dark Magician and a Dark Illusion. So we swing at the Dark Illusion, that frees him up for a second Navigation. This guy can bring out all the Dark Magicians he wants to bring out. It's still not going to do anything for him. So he brings out three Dark Magicians. Two navigations, that's two instances of, uh, of negate. I don't know if that was a top deck. That may have just been a top deck that I have timeus to get his cavalry out. Thinks he's got it. Now check this out. This is a little complicated. Just Envoy of Chaos would not do it alone because cavalry can stop Envoy of Chaos. We still want him to discard that card. But then I can chain Sphere Kribo after I do a little weird on the time. He throws away a rod, no less, too. So we, now we hit him with Sphere Kribo. Important we did in that order, because it doesn't matter, now Envoy is coming right back. He's able to banish both the Karibos, hop right back in our hand. So really good play to do that Envoy before the Karibo, and we still get to destroy the defense position Dark Cavalry, no problem. It's going to be really hard for a Dark Magician to come back versus this when he's in top deck mode. Switches both his Dark Magicians to defense, which is going to play right into a Risen Sky's hand. He doesn't need you to control no monsters, your opponent just needs more monsters than you. So we're able to normal summon him, swing over that 2100D from Dark Magician, he sets one back row, not going to be a problem, we're swinging with Black Cluster Soldier, he's going to Karma Cut us, that was way his third navigation. Now I don't swing with Arisen Gaia, should have swung with Arisen Gaia, I thought I was playing around Destiny Draw, he's balanced, doesn't matter though, next turn I could have normal summoned my Beginning Knight. Then we could have buffed up Gaia with Envoy, that would have been a lethal amount of damage without triggering Destiny Draw. So even if he had Destiny Draw, he didn't, he only had Balance, but even if he did, we would have got around it. Great, great stuff. Okay, here we are fighting Old School Yugi Moto versus New School Yugi Moto. We're going first, using Alexis and Dark Magician Girl, Sleeve and Matt. We're going to start with a Gateway of Chaos that searches our Black Luster Soldier. We're going to normal summon our Gaia at 1900 and just leave it at that. 
Our opponent sets two, normal summons 11 Magician Girl, not a big deal for us. We play another Gateway to Chaos, now we have our Arisen Gaia. We're gonna swing at this Lemon Magician Girl. Remember, we have our Envoys, so we can bump them up 1500. No problem, that forces our boy to use a Canadian. We got one spell counter here. Once you uh, get three spell counters, you could search a ritual spell. How you gain spell counters, monsters just have to be sent to the graveyard. So pretty easy, we got one from sending that Envoy. Here, Invocation into a Coxetus. That gains us another counter. He gets his Alistair back to his hand. Once again, not a big deal. Now we got our Fierce guy face up. We're going to use our Flute of Summoning Karibo. Search our Wing Karibo. Use that Wing Karibo. Turn him into our Black Luster Soldier. Now we're going to Normal Summon our Arisen Gaia. That's four on our Gateway of Chaos now. Now we swing in Magician Girl. She has, or a Lemon Magician Girl. She has a special summon from the hand. So it's just going to be a little Invoker. Even at 1500, we don't have to use our Envoy, and just take him right out. So now he's trying to come at us with Coxetus. We get to use our Envoy, bump him up to 3k, destroy his invincible Coxetus. Now we get our Envoy back, banishing two monsters. We get our Super Soldier Synthesis top deck. That means we get to use Envoy of Chaos and Beginning of Night, or Beginning Night. That way, Lemon Magician Girl's not going to get her effect as she's banished. And we have more than enough for lethal damage. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Jaden. Going first. Let's see what our boys got for us. We have Chaos, Super Soldier. We go really, really, really greedy to do nothing. Obviously, we could go Gateway to Chaos bring out our Black Cluster Soldier, he'd have Beginning Knight's effect, all that great stuff. I didn't have a good feeling that I would have a safe monster on the field. Turns out would have been fantastic. Would have been a nightmare if we ran into uh, Shien and didn't summon our Black Cluster Soldier first. This is the perfect kind of deck where you want to just be on the field. But he does not get a Shien off, so that's going to be the end of him. I don't care how many dual wields you have back there. Without the Shien, you're not going to go far, so uh, he tries to peck at us for 400 damage. By all means, we're looking for that OTK. We're going to use our Gateway of Chaos to bring out an Arisen Gaia, because we have two Envoys, guys. You can use both those Envoys. Got the bump up, 3k attack for a nice and easy lethal over a 2k monster, 5.1k. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing Aster Phoenix. Going first, boy's going for a rank up, poor guy, no sleeve or mat for him. One two cards though. Not a great hand. We're gonna play really, really greedy and just pass our turn. Our opponent sets two. We got a blue to summoning, he's got a cosmic cyclone that, that's okay. Down to 3k, sets another card. But you know at 3k, all we needed was that monster with the gateway, we hate you Nate, all his back row. I accidentally normal summon this Envoy, really did not want to do that. Imagine he had 4k, I mean it's still 4k damage, but imagine you needed your monster bigger. You want to keep the Envoy in your hand, no way the other Envoy. Now we have a Black Cluster Soldier with the Beginning Knight's effects, so he can banish, he can attack twice when he destroys a monster. Then we would have had an Envoy in hand, he would have done over 4k. We still had over 4k worth of damage, obviously with him on the field. But I would have wanted to keep him in the hand. Total misplay just to summon him like that. But still, fun little deck. Very cool to still be using Gaia's. And now we get to use Gaia's and Karibos. And then the Black Luster Soldiers are even easier to summon. It's all really cool stuff. Lots of fun. But uh, fun and success don't always run a positive correlation here in Duel Links together. So gotta have that give and take. If you're having too bad of a time, find a way. J just throw in Three Forbidden Lances around a 23 card deck. You'll still probably do a little better. Absolutely insane. But I hope you guys enjoyed regardless, and thanks for watching.